I'm Mike Schwartz, co-founder of Origin and longtime supporter of Definity and the Internet Computer. Following my work with Tracer from the beginning a number of years ago, whose anchor partner was De Beers, Tracer was devised to implement provenance of diamonds for sustainability and ethically sourced assets through the value chain. And other industry players joined that platform. Since that time, I was always looking for other asset classes to leverage the same kind of benefits. Origin, like Tracer, is concerned with the provenance and authenticity and heritage of real world physical objects. In the first instance, luxury goods, and in particular watches. Origin allows us to uniquely identify and authenticate luxury watches and soon other items as well. We're already working with a number of industry leaders. We're leveraging the internet computer and we've developed some fairly extraordinary technology around the identification of real world physical objects using image recognition technology and sound files. These items will be embedded in digital twins, which Origin will house and will be deployed on the internet computer. The logic of our systems will be transparent and inspectable, and no single organization will be a majority stakeholder. The infrastructure which supports Origin also permits this kind of ecosystem. And this is also a revolutionary advancement that we can now create these industry protocols which are open and decentralized, tamper-proof, inspectable, transparent, trustworthy. And the world is in short supply of trust at the moment. So not only we have a future here where entire industries can migrate to this new infrastructure, and now should, but we'll also have an infrastructure that can support consumer applications and consumer experiences that can also be trustworthy from the consumer standpoint. I think we've all come to learn that the cost of convenience has been very high. Uh, our lack of privacy, what happens with our data, uh, these are costs that uh, we're bearing now and starting to understand the impact of that cost. With these new systems that we can deploy on the internet computer, any consumer can be not only a user, but a stakeholder. They can participate in the global economy more effectively. We can have a better distribution of wealth and power, a more effective distribution. People will be able to own their own data and choose when and how and why and who it is unlocked for. They will have the power to do that and nobody else. We expect an increasing number of industry players to plug into the Origin protocol running on the internet computer. And in so doing, we hope to demonstrate to the rest of the world models which they can too leverage to deploy similar solutions on the internet computer also. This is an industry ecosystem play, again, not controlled by any one company stakeholder. The internet computer helps us implement a governance mechanism which enables these industry players to collaborate and cooperate without fear of one of them doing anything untoward. This is also a very new possibility for industry and a very exciting one. I think the world will soon come to learn that the years and the talent that it's taken to build and deploy the internet computer will deliver much more than people expect. With other protocols that have evolved over a shorter space of time, many of them are doing a good job in a particular area, but they're really making up for shortcomings of some of the other protocols that have more broader uptake. I think we're going to find that the internet computer is a largely very holistic solution. Holistic infrastructure, it's time 
to move industry and enterprise grade infrastructure to the internet computer. It's going to take some time, but enterprises need to start that process now. It's time to do it. There's been a, a long maturity curve for very good reason, but we now have a level of maturity where these mission critical applications can really look at this infrastructure, really look at these massive cost takeouts, really look at these new business model opportunities and be confident that there's a level of robustness there that's going to stack up. It's going to take a little bit of time to learn. It's going to take a little bit of time to migrate, a little bit of time to deploy. So it's time to start. It's time to start on that journey now. And I have no doubt that the gains are going to be immense. My name is Vincent Perriard. Uh, I'm a co-founder of Origin and I'm bringing the expertise of the luxury and the watch industry segment. My name is Jean Boxler. I'm a co-founder of Origin Project. I'm bringing my expertise in decentralized governance, blockchain and the internet computer. In the watch industry and in, in many other industries, in luxury industries, um, we, all, we, we all have a, an issue is that you have a product and you need something that tells you, yeah, this product is right, is a true product, is a, an authentic product. And um, for years and years, decades and decades, we always have a, prob uh, 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 a, a product here on one side and something that says, yeah, this product is right. And usually it's a piece of paper. For 450 years, we're using a piece of paper that tells you, yeah, this watch or this bag or this item is a, is a true one, is a real one, mm. for 450 years. And we're still using it. With the tech we have today, we're still using it. 2020, we, we still have a, a little card, a little piece of paper that tells you, yes, this, this is right. And you spend like 20,000, 30,000, like 100,000, and you still have something which is disconnected from the product. And the thing is that we, we realized also in the last month, in fact, when we started all the projects, we realized that there was absolutely nobody Nobody in 2020 uh, coming with something uh, which, where the product itself is the DNA, where the product itself is, the, is showing the proof of authentic uh, authentication. And, and, and so, yeah, we've seen some people trying to put a little chip, a digital, like, a di like an electronic chip into the watch. Of mm -hmm. course you cannot. You cannot have a mechanical movement with, with electronic inside. It doesn't work, it, it's not allowed, and it brings some like, issues. You know, you're adding some issues instead of like, uh, solving some issues. Yeah. So really, the, the, the idea was to find something which is based on, on, uh, on the picture. It's really to like, take a picture, go in so much detail, that suddenly the product is obviously always different from the other one. Like a biometry, we have that with human faces yeah. and actually it's a very simple idea to have the same application of, of, uh, of biometry but with a watch. Exactly. And the watch is, is like the fingerprint. Every watch is different. There is tiny, mini difference and an AI is able to recognize those differences. On the watchmaking side, one of the dream was to be able to create a digital twin, mm. okay, where it's not a something which is uh, external to the watch, but it's the watch itself. It's really a digital twin. Digital twin. Yeah. And then we are a few months or a few years later, and as you said, we are in Tokyo, in Ginza, we're having, we're having a drink, and you want to know if the watch that you see on, the, on your wrist, if it's a real one. You take your, your smartphone, you make a picture, I will call it like you, you shazam, you mm -hmm. shazam the watch. Mm -hmm. And in one second, it will tell you yeah. when was the, the birth of the watch, yeah. if it's an authentic watch, and it will give you the whole story about you know, who owned the watch, yeah. and it, if it was stolen, yeah. or if it was lost, or yeah. whatsoever. I remember like, you know, we, we had those meetings um, in, uh, in Los Angeles with, with Mike and, and the team. 
and, and, and we were like brainstorming, I'm talking like months ago, where the idea was, oh, how can we solve an issue uh, with, with a technology? And um, it, it, it was really interesting because they all, come, we all, they all came with some ideas, like uh, we can bring a chip, we can uh, pr like put a QR code, we can add something on the product. And I was always saying no, 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 <laughs> no. Like every language I was saying no. I said no, we need to find something where you don't, you, you're not touching the product. We yeah. just, we, can, we, can we use the photography to, you know, like go inside the structure of the watch. And I think that um, a brand like Audemars Piguet is even recording the audio of the movement, right? Every watch, like a heartbeat, like a human being, you have your heartbeats, every watch has a signature, a, a sound signature. The movement is, prov is, is creating a sound, a mm. specific sound. Mm with a specific curve mm. when, you, when you read that on the screen. Mm -hmm. And if you record it at the birth of the watch mm. and you listen up the same watch three years, 10 years later, you, will, you, you can, again, you can see or you can recognize if this watch is the watch that you, you created like in 2012, mm -hmm. for instance. Mm -hmm. So there is a, a sound and an image recognition, yeah. which is really, the, the idea is really to, to use both um, uh, elements into uh, origin to make sure that we, we, we are, you know, like 100% right. And this watch is the watch we have minted like 10 years or five years ago. What the internet computer is allowing us is to, to have a platform, which is a standard that the watch industry can use because a uh, counterfeit is a problem for everyone, right? So finally, you, you're solving a problem and there is no one owning actually a, a, a company uh, everyone is using a platform and 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 then all the data and the uh, the information of those digital twin are um, embedded through a token for example and uh, are uh, using a blockchain and and then this is also that new um, uh, era that that bring definitely a new economy actually and a new model a governance, a new governance model. Origin is, you know, like bringing a new technology where the, for the first time in the history, we are, uh, you know, enabling you to have the product itself to be the proof of authentic, uh, authentication. So the product itself uh, can be seen, can be checked, and not a piece of paper outside of that. Mm. For the first time, that's, that's uh, the technology. The second point is definitely the, the technology behind it. So the internet computer. The fact that we can scale it and the fact that we can monetize it so we can also leave it to, for the governance. New type of governance. New type of governance. That's very important. And the third thing is maybe, and here with Origin, the fact that it's not just tech guys, but it's a combination between tech guys and people from the luxury industry that really understand each other suddenly because, you know, you <laughs> usually in that, in that world, you have the great tech guys and you have the luxury guys in their, in, in their, in, on their side. And here with Origin, we are just like giving the balance between luxury and tech, and we're bringing like a, a, new, a, new, a new thing uh, in the industry to solve a, a problem and to bring, uh, to turn a cost into a revenue. <laughs>